Doing pelvic floor exercises is very important to remain continent, especially after giving birth. In this video, we'll look at how to do these exercises, give you some tips on motivating yourself, and help you check whether you're doing the exercises correctly. So how do you find your pelvic floor muscles? First, it's really important to find the right muscles to strengthen. As you can't easily see these muscles working, it's important to be sure you're exercising the right muscles. Start by lying down with your thighs, your buttocks and your tummy relaxed. Gently breathe in and expand your ribs outwards and let your tummy relax. As you gently breathe out, squeeze around the back passage as if stopping yourself passing wind and bring that feeling forwards as if stopping yourself passing urine. Make sure you don't squeeze the buttocks or grip your thighs or move your pelvis. It's also important not to hold your breath and suck up the pelvic floor. So how will you know that you're squeezing the right muscles? Well, one good way of knowing whether you're squeezing the right muscles is with the stop test. When you're sitting on the toilet, urinating, see if you can stop the flow and start again. Only do this to find the muscles and not as the exercise, as it can change the way the bladder empties if you're practicing it regularly. If the stream stops, you've found the muscle and you're doing it correctly. If it just slows down, you're correct, but the muscle is weak. If you force the stream faster, that is not the correct action and you should try another way or seek help from a women's health physiotherapist. Another way of checking is by placing a thumb in the vagina and feeling the squeeze as if you were trying to stop passing wind or urine. You can also have a look at the muscles with a mirror and see if your vagina closes as you squeeze. So how do you exercise the pelvic floor muscles? Well, start in an easy position for you, such as lying or sitting up if you're able to. Gently breathe in, expand your ribs outwards and let your tummy relax. As you gently breathe out, squeeze and lift the pelvic floor muscles and keep actively squeezing while you count slowly. See if you can hold that lift and squeeze while you count up to 10 seconds. Try and keep your breathing as normal as possible. You might need to start with just a few seconds squeeze. When you feel the muscle get tired, let go of the squeeze and feel the tension release out of the muscle. It might help to take a low deep breath and wait up to 10 seconds before you try the next squeeze. If you find you're holding your breath when you're trying to do the exercise, squeeze the muscles more gently and gradually build up the tension. Once you can manage the breathing, then work on increasing the squeeze. When you start exercising first, you may only be able to hold for a few seconds and a few repetitions, so that's what you do. But to get stronger, you need to increase the hold and the reps over the weeks and months making the exercise program challenge you. Keep progressing it until you reach 10 seconds, 10 times, with a few seconds rest in between contractions. You should also practice some fast contractions, lifting and squeezing quickly and then relaxing for up to 10 times in a row. Aim to do your exercises three times a day. Once you can do them lying down or sitting up, then progress on to standing. If you need to, you can also work on your control in more challenging positions, such as legs spread wide, semi-squats or lunges. A good workout, concentrating and counting is much more effective than squeezing little and often, or getting distracted and not finishing the programme. You can include your pelvic floor exercises with some of your gym or Pilates exercises. Squeeze and lift the pelvic floor as you breathe out on the exertion, and try and match the strength of the squeeze to the difficulty of the exercise for you. If you're getting pain while doing the exercises, or you find it very difficult to progress the exercises or relax the muscles, you should contact a women's health physiotherapist for an assessment of your pelvic floor. You may need a different approach or additional help to resolve your symptoms. A lot of women find it hard to remember to do their exercises. Some ideas that might help you to remember would be to put a reminder on your phone or maybe download an app such as the Squeezy app. You could put stickers around your house to prompt you at different times in the day. Pick a time that you know there's enough time to complete the exercise program, such as in the shower or drying your hair, feeding your baby, or maybe sitting on the bus. Think through your day and see if you can identify a good time for you. It can even be on the toilet once you've finished emptying your bladder and bowels. Make these exercises part of your daily self-care, just like you brush your teeth or take a shower. These exercises need to be an important part of looking after yourself.